everybody! So these are going to be my beauty favorites for September 2015. And I want to start right off the bat with a product that I can't truthfully call my favorite because it just arrived yesterday, but I'm so excited about it that I had to put it in this video. It is from Honest Beauty. So if you follow my uh, mommy channel, you guys know that I'm in love with the Honest Company. I order from them monthly and they just came out with a line of products, makeup and skincare I believe. Anyways, um, I picked up one of their products, I've been trying it out yesterday and today, and I'm really surprised and impressed, and I'm excited that I'm happy because Honest Company is known for its really great ingredients, natural ingredients, and um, I just think it's amazing, so I'm excited for what's to come from them. It is on the more pricier side if you look them up, it's definitely more of a luxury line, but I'm excited for it nonetheless. So, this is the Honest Beauty. Truly Kissable Lip Crayon in Mulberry Kiss, and it's what I have on my lips right now. That's what the Honest Beauty packaging looks like, so it's like silver type chrome, and then it has the color on the end there, and it's exactly what it describes. It's a lip crayon. I got a darker color because for fall I thought I'd try it out. I'll swatch it for you. These are insanely pigmented, like even when I go to sheer that out, it's still very, very, very pigmented. There it is there, but it's such a beautiful fall color. One of the first things I noticed about this was the scent. It's like raspberry maybe? I don't know, some kind of fruit scent. Not overwhelming, but a really pleasant scent. It's It glides on super smooth. It was super easy to apply and doesn't dry my lips out so far anyways. I've only been using it for two days. Um, and it feels really nice on the lips and it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. So I'm pleasantly surprised by my first Honest purchase. I will definitely be checking out more. If you've bought stuff from the Honest line, let me know what you think. All right, the next is the foundation I've been using. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I picked this up a couple weeks ago. It's new to Canada. I know the States has had it for a while. But I'm really impressed with this. I like this a whole lot. If you want to see a specific review on it, let me know. Um, I've been using this and the Born This Way foundation from Too Faced mostly. When I've been wearing foundation mostly this month, that's what I've been wearing. And I decided to put this one in my favorites because it's drugstore price. And it's very comparable to the Too Faced one um, for lots of different reasons. But yeah, I love it. And it's a way better price. So been loving that. This next one I did do a review on. This is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. Again, a really good price for a higher end concealer. This stuff is amazing. It is very comparable to the MAC Pro Longwear. It is thin in consistency, high coverage, and doesn't crease. So if you want to see that review, I will try and link it down below. The next, I should have done this with the first one, is another lip product that I have been loving. I've been getting more into the fall colors, I guess. This is from uh, hard candy. I picked up a few things from them this month, and this is the All Matte Up Hydrating Lip Stain. And the color is Berry Matte. It actually has that same similar packaging as the Honest Company does on the end there, except the color is the majority of the stick. Again, it's a stick crayon like that, and I will swatch it beside the Honest one. So that's it there. It's got more purple to it than that one's more berry. That one has a bit more purple to it. This is beautiful, very pigmented. I'm really surprised. It's hard candy, so it's affordable. It's at Walmart. Goes on really easy. If I were to compare the Honest one and this one from hard candy, this one's a little bit more drying than the Honest one, but it's still beautiful. Okay, the next one came in. I think this is in my Ipsy, my last month Ipsy. It's from, uh, Evio Beauty Group, and it's the Cream Blush in Ash. This is a tiny little guy like that. My stippling brush just fits in it, which is good, but it's like a really nice um, dusty rose color. It's totally matte. It's a cream blush. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Not, not with the highlighter. The highlighter is on top, but this is a very natural color. goes with anything, and I've been liking it. Another hard candy product is the Stroke of Gorgeous Felt Tip Eyeliner. I've been wanting to try their felt tip eyeliner for many, many months, but every time I go to Walmart, they're always sold out of black, and I finally got a black one. It was actually the last black one that they had. That's what it look like, looks like. Um, I have been playing around with it, but it takes some getting used to, because compared to the Stila one, it's nice and black like the Stila one, it's pigmented, it glides on really well, but the tip is a bit... 
how do I describe it? I think the product's a little bit more liquidy, so you have to be a little bit more careful, or if you press down too hard, it can just kind of bleed. So there's definitely a learning curve going from this to the Stila, or the Stila to this, but this one's a lot more affordable, so I'm hoping I can figure it out, because more, affo more affordable, and I'm at Walmart way more than I'm at Sephora, so more accessible. The next one came in BoxyCharm, I want to say. This is the Tarte Smolder Eyes in Gunmetal. It's a eyeshadow eyeliner stick and it's got a smudger on the end. That's the color there. I will swatch it for you. There it is there. It's just a really nice neutral color with a little bit of sheen to it. Um, I've used it as an eyeliner and I've smudged it out and I've also used it as a base all over my lid for another eyeshadow. Very, very long lasting Tarte products usually are. So yeah, I was excited to see this in BoxyCharm because it was full size. All right, last couple products. Um, this one I did a review and giveaway on. If the giveaway is still open, I will leave it down below. It's the Argon Oil, Argon Oil Hair Mask from Pure Body Naturals. It's a really hydrating hair mask that doesn't weigh your hair down. It's affordable, it's on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna check it out, but it's good stuff, I'll show you. There it is there. So I've been using it I don't know, maybe twice a week. Whenever I take a bath, I'll just put it in my hair and let it sit in my hair. This next one is from Acure Organics. It's the Brightening Facial Scrub. I believe this also came in Ipsy, and I had heard really great things about this brand, and this brand lived up to its name. This stuff is black because it has the Corella growth factor in it, Argon stem cell, some kind of plant in it, but it's black and it's extremely gritty so if you don't like really gritty scrubs you won't like this this removes everything and more and it kind of detoxifies your skin at the same time so it's not something to use every day but it's it's amazing I would definitely look into purchasing the full size last product is an oldie but a goodie it's the L'Oreal El Net Satin Hairspray I got extra strong hold volumizing or no volume with pro keratin I needed a new hairspray. I've been curling my hair a lot more often. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but this stuff is great. Holds the curl, but doesn't leave any crunch. My hair is completely soft and it doesn't smell the best, but it works too. fantastic. So yeah, that's it for my September favorites. I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching. Bye.